Hello Internet and welcome back to more XCOM with the Bastard. It's been a couple of weeks, it's been a couple of weeks since I uh, got furious at some floaters. So, let's um, let's just crack on forward and see what happens. I don't think we've got anything in particular to do before that. We've got a large contact and it's oh, of mass. course you turn up, time keeping up with this before, before my firestorms are ready. Bangs out. Okay. Approaching target now. Dodge. Track. Not doing bad. Nice. Excellent. Okay. Uh, it's large. So, we're going to need a good team. We're going to need a very good team. So, let's clear off with everyone. Make items available. And we're going to start with... Who's wounded? Um, Nyx and one of the new guys. Okay, that's fine. We're going to start with Norma. And with Stax. We want to get some XP out of this. And we're going to take George as well, but everyone else is probably going to be uh, top of the line. I mean, we've only got one of the snipers, so it's going to be uh, it's going to be Geth. <coughs> and as for heavies, we're going to take one of our top heavies, and we're going to take. Uh, well, there's no sense if we're going to take someone at top rank who can't. There's no sense in not taking our best. So let's take Sledge. And then for assault, let's take on the same principles Shotzi. Or shall we take someone else who isn't fully leveled up? Um, I don't know. It's a large UFO. I don't want to get caught out like I did last time, you see. Uh, I could take Brendan, maybe. I could maybe take Brendan. What do you guys think? I'm taking I'm taking two colonels already, and uh, two of the others are nearly top spec as well, uh, which is Stax and Norma. Oh, the agony of choice. Um, okay, I may regret this. But fine. Straightforward loadout, probably. Nothing too surprising. And a ghost grenade. Yeah. Usual loadout for mechs, obviously. And for uh, the Geth. You even need a scope at this point. Yeah. Well, there's n there's not much else you can realistically give a uh, a sniper, so that's fine. Um, tempted to just give him a medikit just for backup. Yeah. And then for sledge, usual actual loadout. Uh, sledge has she has heat ammo and danger zone. Uh, she doesn't have the uh, grenadier perk, so less uh, less useful. So we'll give a chitin plating and probably a hmm, probably a flashbang. And as for Brendan, it's the uh, the usual assault loadout. Plus, uh, plus probably an arc thrower. So I've got limited kind of contr uh, crowd control with only one flashbang, but uh, that should be okay. As long as they don't all pour towards me like they did last time. That was a, um, a landed UFO though, so this one's crashed, so it should be a bit easier. 
should be a bit easier. Okay. Whoa, what was I doing? No. Yeah, uh, this looks fairly good, I think. I think this looks fairly good. We've got two colonels and two majors, so it's a, it's a really good team. I think we can afford to have um, Devil Dog in there, just for extra XP. Let's go. Yeah, I, I feel right. I feel right about this. Which obviously means horribly wrong all the time. Has Let's see what we can see in Operation Ready Morbid Thunder. Our AO is within the continental United States. The alien craft went down in flames. We've pinpointed its final resting place in a rural area with no significant civilian... Of course, with it being rural area, uh, Geth's legs are of limited survivors. use. Uh, I know what I mean by that. It's fine. <laughs> there won't be any high points, probably, for him to immediately lead to. Although, no, if it's a large UFO, then he should be able to leap to the top if, uh, if necessary. Uh, some of the midsections are quite high up, so that's, uh, that might prove useful. Well, occasionally you get things like uh, uh, chrysalids lurking up there, so sometimes isn't a great idea. But we'll see. Picking up some meld here would be quite nice. Central, this is Big Sky. Strike one is ready to secure the craft. Yeah, okay, it's one of these. Sky. We're about Strike here. The well, that looks like a breach spot to me. Well, how are we going to get up there? Uh, the only way up is on that other side. Okay. That's the only way up I can see. I'm not fucking around with kind of optimizing where I'm going, so uh, because I'm lazy, essentially. Um, so okay, let's start moving out towards there. Um, let's pop stacks here for a start. And George, you can take point-ish as you usually do. Or can you, actually? I'm tempted to put Geth up there in case anything comes out here, but if it comes out there, he may be in trouble. But, you know, screw it. Be fine for now. Fine for now. Actually, if we got it's never a particularly good idea to, uh, to put stacks on point just because you can move so much faster than everyone else. But, um... It's fine. It's fine. Roger that. Heading there now. It's fine. We'll just shuffle a bit forward and use a. Uh... Mm, well, we don't want to trigger anyone really. Heading out. So we'll just go there. Drop her, drop her some overwatch. Watch everyone come out behind Geth now. That is so what will happen. But with it being a crashed UFO, they should be in disarray, so. Well, that's some floaters. Okay, there's some meld over here, so we'll head towards it. We will head towards it. And we will get. Normal to take point. Okay, there is a meld canister. Let's try and get to it in time. Uh, okay. I don't think I'll see anything, so I might as well just move forward on Overwatch. It should be fine. Keep roughly clustered together, or at least enough so that. Uh, Jumping up and down things there, Devil Dog. That's fine. Keep closest, closer together so that we can uh, take full advantage of George's field. Okay. Should anything horrible happen. And Geth is just going to uh, dash completely up here because... Uh, yeah, this is totally not where we want to be. Double time. So, can you just uh, run on up, please, Geth? I I don't know why. I have a feeling that something's going to burst out of the ship this turn. 
But we'll see. Hopefully they won't all drop over watch immediately. No? Okay. Right, that's fine then. That's fine. Got two turns on it. Okay, so. I probably don't want to look in there just yet. Because I won't be able to move my people up significantly, I don't think. Uh, can I? I can move up George. I can move up Stax. And Norma. That's probably enough. Let's have a look what's up there, please, Norma. Excellent. Right, well that meld is probably ours, unless something horrible happens. On my way. We're halfway up the ship here, which means we'll probably have to clear one end and then clear the other. Is that the control room there? No, that's not the control room. I don't think. Is that the... Uh... Yeah, that's the entrance, okay. We may clear that first after we've got this meld. That might be a good idea. Okay, well, George can head up here. Heading there now. So we've got another gun up there, essentially. And if anything comes off this side, they'll get height advantage as well, so that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Height advantage plus overwatch is a potent combination. And your overwatch is worth jack shit, so you can actually uh, move on up here. That's fine. And as for Geth, again, you won't be able to overwatch because you'll have to move, so oddly can't move you into cover. Oh, I guess we can go there. Not ideal. Again, you can jump. That's what I mean. You could jump up top here, I think. But, uh... I have to be damn sure there's no aliens up there first. Well, I can jump back down, you know, it's no problem. as long as nothing else is triggered. <laughs> yeah, there's something in there. We'll pick up this meld and then we'll, uh, we'll go clear out that area. So, I'll probably uh, trigger something right here, but so, so it goes. Nope. Okay, then. Excellent. Uh, right, let's go clear out here because there's something here. And I don't want to have to go all the way to one end of the ship and then go all the way to the other. Although that's kind of what I'm doing here, but you know. Bear with me, bear with me, people. On the move. Moving out. Okay. And I'm tempted to uh, breach here as well. Because... Uh, well, because breaching two parts, two points is better than one. Come on, let me click on sledge. There we go. Yeah, you know, let's be um, let's be moderately careful here. I think no contact yet makes me slightly nervous. Move Geth here for now. And we'll move Norma all the way back here. And with sledge and Norma, we'll um. breach. Actually, Geth could do with breaching from here, probably. So with that in mind, we'll actually breach. We'll breach around here with um, with Brendan, because he'll probably be close to the aliens for use of shotgun there. Still a fair bit of watch as well, which is nice. Whoa! Okay then. <laughs> he drops all the way down there, that's fine. Okay. Now, what can we do here? Huh? How come we've got no line of sight on him now? That's weird. Anyway, um, Brendan has our watch, right? Um, not overwatch. Uh, lightning reflexes. Yes, he does. So, we're going to run and gun. 
and we're going to move here. Oh, that's fine. And we're going to rapid fire right into him. Excellent. Now, the question is... No, oh, Geth can't see him from there. That's annoying. Um, however, we should be able to get a shot from Norma way. here. I would imagine. No? That's absolutely bizarre. That's absolutely bizarre. Um... I mean, we can grenade, so, you know, let's try here. Yeah, okay. 78%. There we go. Right. And I'm going to have to do this breach from here, I suspect. And probably sooner rather than later, so we can try and get some overwatching on that sectoid commander. some overwatching on him when he comes up, that's the thing. We might be able to see him from here, but the question is whether that's worth it, frankly. Um, it probably is, because he's only going to probably psychic someone rather than shoot them. Um, well, I'm not sure I can shoot him from there. He just jumped over, you see, so I'm not sure. I get good cover here, that's the thing. Um, and we can move around and, and flank him next turn, you know? Um, well, I'm moderately tempted to send stacks here in full cover. Um, just look around there in case he... But if he comes back up, he probably... Because he jumped down there. <clears throat> I don't think he'll... He, he can come back up there. I don't think there's one of those teleporty things there. I think he just jumped down. So, <clears throat> pardon me. So if he comes back up, he'll actually come back up one of the ramps anyway. Um, so he may come up here if he's particularly unlucky. Um, so actually we're just going to drop overwatch. We're just going to drop some overwatch, guys. Yep. And then hunt him down. That was unfortunate that they were there. But we dealt with it fine. Okay, he's playing hard to get. Right. Fine, let's get everyone into position. I'm on it, Commander. Let's get everyone into position first. And then we'll, uh, we'll actually go in next round. If he shows his ugly face this time round, he may well just cop it. And Geth can actually do a sniper rifle overwatch. Just wanted to get everyone in position. There's still some floaters around, they're back there, that's fine. See, he's probably called a unit in now, which is unfortunate. So we do want to breach because we don't want to get uh, targeted. Okay. Out here in the open. Okay. Let's... Uh, well, he's not there, is he? So I think we're safe to go in with stacks here. And we will go here. Try and get a view on him. Ugh, no. We're actually going to go there. Because I think he's right down here still. Yep. On Overwatch 2. Haha! -ha. That's fine. Now we know he's there. We can take a lovely shot with, uh, with Norma. Critical. And let's try and maybe kill him with... Um, Oh, running gun hasn't uh, burnt up yet. That's a shame. Um, okay. That George, will George be able to get a shot on him? No, very much not. Position confirmed. Okay. Uh, 
can we? Um, we well, see we could have killed him with an alien grenade if it was anyone else who'd done that, but uh, not the case. So I think we're just going to have to. Uh, I'll leave him because he's only going to psychic someone, and then we'll kill him next round. So you know it's fine. Um, where to put Geth though? That's the question. I'm tempted, actually, to put him here and then go into pistol overwatch because I think floaters are going to come in from that direction now. If we can do a bit of damage to them, it might can't hurt. Um, yeah, I guess just overwatch. I don't think there's anything I can do to him. I don't think there's anything I can do to him uh, unless I can collateral damage. I mean, that's only two damage, though, so there's no real point. There's no real point. We'll kill him next turn. He's probably just going to psychic uh, Norma, which is fine, because then we'll just kill him with one of these guys. Uh, it's a shame uh, Run and Gun is still on. He, but because he, he's flanked, he'll probably move away from there anyway, and he can't see these guys. So he'll um, he'll probably just die from Overwatch fire, to be honest. We'll find out. Oh no, he just moved there. That's fine. That's fine. It does no damage to us, and also it failed. So that's especially fine. Okay, the meld is up there. We're probably not going to make it. Um, we are going to get a extra kill on. Oh, have we captured a Sectoid commander? I don't know, let's try. Can't hurt, right? I can't remember if we have or not. Why not? Okay. There may still be some aliens down there, but you know. We heard them coming in from here, so this is where we're going to cover. I'm on the move. I really need to note down what I've, uh, what I have actually captured, so that I don't. Uh, oh, of course, can't get back up there. That's fine. I'm on my way. Well, I don't think they'll come in here. I don't think that'll get an overwatch shot from there. So we'll actually move around here. Let's see what we got on our watch here. Let's see what we get. Because I think they're coming in for me. I think that Sector Commander called them. I could be wrong. Could be wrong. And apparently am. But, let's have a look. Let's look, see what we can see out there. Headed there now. Let's have a look with George. There we go. Couple of heavy floaters. Now, here's the question. What do we do? Because we can't get any shots with Zeno. And the shots from here will be shit. 63% mm, is not bad, but... I want to engage them from here, not from there, where there's no cover. So, I'm going to pull back. I'm on it, Commander. Apart from with uh, Norma, obviously. Now, can you... Hmm. Presumably you can't get there anyway. No, you, you totally can't get there without triggering it anyway. Okay, fine. You can just dash to there then. Hmm. I don't really know what to do. It's a bit of an awkward um, placement. Probably not the best place I could have uh, 
I think you're not going to get a shot from there, are you? You're not. You're really not. You might get a shot from there, though, if they come around. So let's try that. And George is just going to have to head back. <coughs> and they have grenades, so mm, George is actually going to head back here. I'm going to have to rely on just a little bit of overwatch here, which ain't great. Uh, but fine. We'll, uh, we'll overwatch. I can imagine that uh, yielding some good results from uh, from Geth. I don't know, watch there. It's only two of them. Could be worse. Oh, Geth! What do you like? Stacks did a hit though, which is nice. And he, uh, he didn't get a shot in, which is nice. Okay. Well, start, as always, with Geth, because this is all he's going to be able to see. So let's headshot. can't believe Geth missed. Didn't miss that time, though. And he's got a double tap, so see ya. I'm always surprised that he has double tap. I don't know why. Executioner. Um, yeah, do I want to get vis- I probably don't want to get visibility because I think, um, they probably went in Overwatch, so I'm just going to lurk here and wait for them, frankly. I'm just going to lurk here and wait for them. Closer, closer range overwatch there from Devil Dog. And we're going to move up. Uh, we might get a shot from there. But if it comes around the corner, it's probably dead. There we go. And I watch from the other guys. Missed. There we go. Target eliminated. Oh yeah. Oh, there's some mutons, muton and muton berserker. We well, got some high ground on them though, that's for sure. Ooh, that muton berserker being dropped down like that—that's not. That's not positive actually. Um. Again, we may want to pull back. We may want to pull back. Who can actually see that? He's on the line. You can, hey? Okay. You can actually kill it this round with melee, but that would leave Norma wide open for that Muton Berserker. Again, I think my best bet is simply to move back. Um, so they have to move forward. I think that's probably my best bet again. Uh, boring as it is. So I am going to... Moving out. Once more. Get out of line of sight of that muton. Someone can still see them. Probably Brendan. Yep. You're going to move back here, Brendan. I see them? No, I can't. Cool. Uh, George is going to stick there. No real good place for Sledge to go, which is annoying. Maybe I should move Stacks back rather than Sledge. So obviously I'd rather have Sledge um, with visibility than Stacks. She can do a lot more damage. Um, maybe I should move Geth back here for maximum range. Uh, no, I don't really want to move him because I want him to have uh, line of sight at all times. Uh, like uh, line of sight at all times—that's not at all it. What I want is to not lose a uh, shot with him, um, but I could have. So, um, but you know, Sledge loses a shot when she moves because I think she's got Bullet Storm. 
Or maybe she doesn't. I thought she had bullet. Yeah, she's got bullet swarm. So she gets two shots if she doesn't move. So that's much better with stacks uh, than stacks, I think. So what I'm going to do, actually, is um, I'm going to move her down there. Because she can probably just move one up and get a shot if anyone's there. Because Devil Dog's probably going to... Uh, advance if he uh, if he can in the next turn so you know no time to reload I was going to take a turn to reload you see but uh, not going to happen really uh, yeah well you might as well um, well maybe maybe you should just drop a, a ghost no we can't see them yet that would be foolish it would be foolish I think we're fine <coughs> we might take a muton shot a bad muton shot Oh, you're going that way? Okay. Nice one, Geth. Interesting way for that Muton Berserker to go. Maybe he didn't see us. Now he's coming our way. Oh, perfect. That's perfect. Yeah, yeah, blood call, whatever. Uh, well, let's start off with a shot on Geth, obviously. So he ain't going to be doing, able to do anything else. Ow! Right, let's try and get the kill on um, on someone who needs the XP. Like George. Kapow. Right, what about that muton? That other muton? Um... Uh, we should probably still hang around for him. We probably should. Let's uh, let's give it a round of Overwatch. And if he doesn't pop his head out, we'll. Uh, I don't know why you are insisting that Geth can do something. He totally can't. Um. Geth cannot do anything. Yeah, here we go. Glad I did that. Oh, he's right in front of you, Norma. Come on. <laughs> that slowly revolving muton. <laughs> That's a surprise. He uh, doesn't mind just standing out there in, uh, in full view of everyone, evidently. Have we captured a muton? We have not, I don't think. So we need to soften him up. How do we soften him up? Well, for a start, we uh, we do a pistol shot. Nice. Uh, let's try and get a pistol shot on stacks as well, because so we can always melee into death. Like it's not that's not going to be a problem. So. Okay, and let's see what our uh, stun percentage is now. Shall we? I think it'd be 90% or something, so I might just go for that. Because all my other weapons do a shit ton of damage, so... <coughs> yeah, 90%. Come on. Nighty night. Excellent. Right. I don't think we're going to get anyone else in, so let's... Uh, Take a turn to reload. Although the music is still running. I, I don't think that's accurate. We'll, we'll overwatch with Sledge, why not? We'll just reload with our... Uh, our two, uh, two max. No close signals there. So we'll, we'll proceed along the outside of the ship, I think. To, uh, to the bridge. We might be getting close to uh, to the amount of uh, enemies that we've had. Almost tempted to run everyone along the top. We'll put Geth on top. We will put Geth on top. You up there? Yeah. 
that location. We'll just put him up here. For now. Uh, no, we'll put him up next turn so that he can actually see what's happening, probably. Um, so, that was pretty productive. That was pretty good. Let's try and see what's out there with Norma. Not much is the answer. That's fine by us. Fine by us. Stacks can keep pace. And just drop a bit more overwatch. Again, your overwatch is for shit. Although being able to reload would be nice. Would be nice. Uh, Sledge, I think you'll just have to run. remember to switch away from pistols with people. Uh, normal, no one else is going in front, so that's fine. Bit of reloading on the scatter laser. George, you move out there, and your defense field will be on those guys in the middle. I drop to my watch. And Geth. Ah, I'll tell you what, well, you can just leap up there. Nothing bad is going to happen there. Uh, drop to my watch. Oh, with the pistol. What I said I didn't want to do. Okay, there's something around in here. So we'll get... Sounds like more mutons. We'll get um, some visibility. Uh, this turn... First thing we're going to fucking do, though, is... Um, find stacks. And before I forget... Switch to a goddamn laser rifle. Okay. Let's get some visibility with Norma. Just down here. No, I didn't think they'd be down there. So that's fine. I'm on it, Commander. Stacks can take point. I really shouldn't be taking point with my medic. Yeah, you should fall out of that bad habit. Uh, go there. Go there. And just block all routes for George, maybe? Yeah. Okay. No, we can go there. That's fine. And we'll drop some overwatch from here. Because I think I know roundabouts where they are. I'm all over it. And go there. And, uh. Let's go in here. I don't think he'll get line of sight from down there. But then one move is one move for him, you know? So we'll actually move here. Could do his reloading the sniper rifle at some point as well. Okay. Drop that overwatch. Hopefully not blow up the meld we've picked up. That would be good. I don't, they're around here somewhere. They're probably in this last area here or, or just out by there. Close enough to get a, uh, a read on me this turn. You know what? We can pop forward and get some line of sight with Geth, actually. That's not a bad idea. We can always pull back. They can't get up here easily. Nothing down there. Okay. But they may scatter into Geth's range when... Uh... Tell you what we're going to do, actually. To avoid taking point with stacks, we're going to heal up George. But uh, let's just get some... Let's actually consolidate this turn, I think, rather than, yeah, and hope they just come to us. George is going to go here, here actually, and uh, stacks can heal him up. That's fine. I think my cat is meowing. But I've been told it is completely inaudible. Because <laughs> I keep saying, Oh, is there if you can hear my cat? And then That's people say, You know, we can't hear a single thing your cat ever does, man. It sounds like you have an imaginary cat. It sounds like you are a crazy man. I assure you, I do have a cat. It's just obviously, evidently a stealth cat. But only as far as... Uh, 
actually move uh, Devil Dog round to flank. Um, he's only a, definitely only a stealth cat as far as uh, this microphone is concerned. He's certainly not a, a, a generalized stealth cat. Let me tell you. I don't know what that means. Yeah, okay, they're around there. Get some really nice. Uh, so they've got a berserker with them. I heard that. Some really nice shots with Geth, actually. So uh, we'll we won't get try and get visibility just yet because we want to move around this side here with everyone uh, as much as possible. So we're going to move up like so. I think they're stationary. It sounds like they're stationary. I'm going to move there with George. Nice little core of troops there. And Devil Dog is going to have to move around here instead. And he's going to go there. Worried he'd trigger someone there, but there we go. Overwatch. We'll actually reload. Because so you should be able to get some shots from where he is now. With uh, with squad sight. I, it sounds like they're stationary to me. So we're going to trigger him. This turn and see what happens. Or They're not wandering around much. So, first things first. Let's see what we can see with Norma. I'm on the move. And there was the other meld. Okay, interesting. Are they round there? Are they inside with the commanders? That's going to be interesting. By interesting, I mean terrifying. not a bad little uh, shooting gallery for when something does come out but if they're inside we'll have to breach well we'll f probably find out this turn whether they're inside or not I would imagine oh for God's sake I knew that was gonna happen and devil dogs just out there oh we might have to wave goodbye to Brendan or not. With double tap, this muton's probably dead. So it's just the berserker we have to worry about. Excellent. Okay. Panic over. Panic over, guys. Weird wobbly head. Um, we're probably all right. He might take a. He might take a berserker shot. Uh, we're not going to shoot. Run and gun and shoot him because that would actually be counterproductive. Um, <laughs> we will move people forward because he's only going to attack one person. Um, and because of the extra health, I'm tempted just to move Norma in the way, to be honest. Yeah, we'll do that. That's affirmative. I'd rather have her take a bit of a kicking than... Uh, and we'll move people forward just so we get that extra. She shoot from there, interesting. Um, yeah, it's a berserker, so we really don't need to worry about cover. Weird grid dropping down for a half a second. Fine. Um, I suppose we could have actually ghosted everyone. I might do that. I might ghost everyone. Or I do, yeah, well, I won't have the time. Why did I think that? Here we go. Splodoosh. Come on. Hit Norma. Ow. Ow. It's fine. It's fine. Right, so what we want to do for a start is soften him up mightily with, uh, with Geth. Oh, not that good. Okay. It's fine.
And then we're going to... We're going to hit him with Norma. Moving out. And that should do a fair whack of damage. 12 damage. Getting in close. Yep. Hopefully no one's going to go crazy from that. Uh, and then, again, with, with Brendan, I guess, we'll um, point-blank rapid-fire him. And that should finish him off and get some, uh, get some XP for Brendan. <laughs> I was going to say. Two misses. Right. Now we should have everything but the, um, but the cabin. So... I should imagine on a crashed UFO. That will be that. I'm rolling. Uh, so, we're going to uh, reload there and run all the way up here with Sledge. Get everyone prepared for a classic by the numbers breach with plenty of flamethrower action. Two health repair. Yeah, it's the only place now. Cool. Good news, as far as I'm concerned. Get everyone in place, absolutely everyone in place. This is the question, should Geth go down with them or should he just stay up here? That might not be a bad idea. We move him across to uh, here, say. Yes, sir. We have limited use in there. Oh, he's quite good for softening up with uh, pistols, but then we've run out of stun rounds anyway. So. Going. Shouldn't have done that, really, should we? Well, we've, we need another round anyway, so we'll. Um, out. And we should have sledge there instead of stacks anyway, so we'll uh, we will heal up. Come on, you'll be back in the fight ASAP. I don't think Norma will even co even come out of that with uh, with a wound, to be honest. She's so tough. Okay. And they'll watch for everyone else. Blah blah blah. Uh, to get, bring Geth down or not, though, is the question. Um, I probably will. I don't think he'll be able to see much in there from here, so that's no, that's fine. We'll bring him down. We'll bring him down. What? That's weird. No, I don't want to go up there. What are you doing? Let's just bring him down there for now. You'll need to move around anyway to get a decent shot, so you know it's fine. Just reload on him, and we'll move stacks. Yeah, and we'll. I think everyone. We'll just drop an Overwatch just to make sure everyone's uh, locked and loaded, which I'm glad we did. Okay, and then we breach next turn. Now we make hefty use of George's flamethrower because it's awesome. So, Brendan, what can we see? Ah, only two of them as well. Okay. They go out there. Ridiculous. First things first. Uh, I think this will hit both of them. It will indeed. And maybe destroy some of this lovely cover. Killing it with fire. Oh yeah. Haha. -ha. Wish he hadn't run a bit further away, but fine. Fine, fine. And guess can get a shot on them now, but we're gonna take some other shots first. See if we can't uh Go there. We're going to go around here to get this flank on them. 
might, this might, I don't know, get Norma her final there. Just want them in cover? Okay. Whatever. Uh, as long as you're in control, sectoid commanders aren't a problem, essentially. Um, we're first off, we're going to run and gun with Brendan. And we are going to take down that sectoid commander. Do a lovely bit of rapid fire. Which was the one that Geth could see, but that's fine. I'd rather get the XP on. Uh, definitely rather get the XP on. Uh, Brendan. Because I can't get any XP on Geth. Uh, stacks. Go on. You haven't done much this round. Although she does have suppression, so we'll leave her shot for last. In case we decide to suppress instead. Can't see anything from here. Can we see through George? We can't see through George, that's annoying. Uh, but she can flash bang as well, which means we can try and make the... Uh, so we'll do this in order. First off, we will um, try and get... Ah, we got the kill with Norma anyway, that's fine. I think that should be the end of the mission. Commander, yeah. The operation was a success. Well, that went um, pretty damn smoothly. Bit of damage taken, but nothing that can't be healed. A couple of uh, stunned aliens, which I can't remember if I'd already stunned or not, but, uh, you know, yeah, everything helps. It'll give us we free weapons, if nothing else. Our troops are making it look easy yep, out there. no wounds, no so promotions either, but... Uh, so I was quite surprised that uh, Brendan didn't get a promotion. Got a mectoid kill and a sectoid commander, and Enemy possibly something else. Commander. A Berserker. Okay, yeah, we'd already ca captured uh, Sectoid Commander, fine, but uh, we hadn't captured a Muton, but we got us a Plasma Pistol. Uh, free Plasma Pistol. And we have a load of stuff to sell. We have uh, some power sources, alien surgeries, flight computers, stasis tanks, all sorts of stuff. All sorts of stuff. And they have no use. Uh, they have no use. Wow, 340, huh? Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, let's build us some facilities. Uh, we need another satellite uplink, don't we? But we don't have enough engineers, which is why we're building a workshop. Um, I'd hang on to it if it wasn't for... Uh, uh, for Exalt. But we should, well, it's only 100. We'll be able to get 100 by selling crap, so, you know, fine. Um, you know what? We'll excavate the final two things. Is there anything in the foundry we need? Uh, 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 no, it's all shiv stuff and drone capture, which I'm not bothered by. Build and upgrade mech. We need the final um, mech thing to do that. That's why I'm saving my, uh, my meld for. So tell you what actually, how many firestorms do we have being built? Just two firestorms? Can we afford another one if we uh... Is there anything else just in here we need before we do that? I don't think so. I think we're good. Yeah, we can build another firestorm for a start. And maybe a couple of these because we use them up. Let's build another firestorm. Uh, oh, not enough hangar bays. Let's build these first. And, yeah, we do still have room. So what we're going to do... Uh, we've only got a couple of days for firestorm, so we should be fine. We'll move our Phoenix cannon to uh, North America, say. Being as we've got one repairing anyway. Uh, and then we'll have room to build the other firestorm. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. And there we go. Oh, we have 14 credits in there, which uh, could pull Exalt out for a lot cheaper than scanning. So that's fine. I think we'll leave, uh, we'll leave the episode there. Productive. Most productive. Uh, and I'll catch you next time for more fun and frolics in the world of alien killing. Bye.